Brian. Nice to meet you. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Good. Here? Yep. Oh. Go and take your time to get comfy. Absolutely. Uh, let me break it down to you guys. When I started, they had wood sticks, right? And progressed composite to one piece or whatever. What I'm trying to say is maybe my rookie year, I could shoot the puck slap shot 84, 85 miles an hour. They shoot it over 100 miles an hour now. The average guy's got a 95 mile an hour shot. So for guys stepping in front of those, they know what they're into. So to your point, chaos with chaos works. The NHL regular season is now officially a quarter way through. For the Red Wings, it's been a season full of energy and moments that Little Caesars Arena hasn't seen in some time. My name is Jimmy Howard, uh, former Red Wings goalie, now officially retired. Is that weird to say? No, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the goaltending duo between uh, Ned and, uh, and Grace has been working well so far with, for the Wings. Uh, I think they're both similar as, you know, they both uh, have very high compete levels. Ned, uh, when he's playing, you know, he is very athletic. What a stabbing stop! Alex Nedeljkovic, what a save! And, uh, you know, the one play that comes to mind is uh, late in the game against Chicago where, you know, he thought he was down and out and he reaches back with his goal stick and he makes some remarkable saves. There's the break and, oh, oh what a save by Nedeljkovic! Oh, he keeps it at 6-3! A diving stab with the outstretched stick on the man they call the cat. When a goalie makes a save like that, that's like us scoring a goal. That's like our, our, our time where, you know, we feel like we score a goal because, you know, you're down and out and it's desperation and you make the save and uh, I think right away your team feeds off of that. Riley and a goal! A big stop there by Nadelkovic! Thanks everybody for joining us today. We'll get started with Alex Nedeljkovic. A lot of it is just confidence and having the confidence in yourself to, to make plays. He comes with a high compete level. You know, Gracer, when he's in there, he's a, he's a little bit more quiet, you know, more compact. And the Ned's got, you know, a little bit more flash and dash. Do you see the saves he's made? He makes Ned's saves. Like Dominic Hasek all over the place. Like Nedeljkovic and Hasek style's different, but it's got a lot of rodeo in it. Right, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's got a lot of ride the bull rodeo tricks in it. And, and they're never gonna quit on the puck. Yeah, every game, you know, I go in there and I feel more and more comfortable and just the game gets a little easier. You know, you get into a bit of a rhythm and you just stop thinking about things and you just start doing it. For me, the less I think, the better I play. Uh, yeah, right on. I gotta turn it up. From the point, rips it and blocked him. Down goes Ernie. He's stunned. Panthers control again. Aronis, nice hit in the corner. Got room. Shot. Another block. Oh, Ernie, crash test dummy. One timer. Another block. Down goes Fabry. And Fabry again. Shot saved, the Dalkovich, what is happening? Pucks in front, it is loose to the corner. What crazy action! Shots, block shot again, and the broken stick! Montour saved the Dalkovich, that's the craziest sequence I've ever seen! It's chaos, instinct doing whatever it takes, right? You know, it's almost like, it's like you're drowning and you're flailing all over the place. So everybody's flailing, you know, but it is, it is chaos because you, once you get it out, you got to regroup. It, I mean, it's, put yourself in that position. It's like, it's tough. I mean, think about it. You're, you're out there, you're blocking a hundred mile an hour shot. 
you can't get off the ice and then you know the shot's coming again and and you're already in pain then you have to block it again when i saw that uh, it was just kind of jaw dropping <laughs> you know to see those guys in a uh, you know what was it maybe the 10th regular season game of the year like you know you can tell that they you know really wanted to win but the the biggest thing is seeing the fans reaction i've never seen anything like it in at little caesar's arena as far as the fans cheering for defensive purposes i mean uh, it was just an unbelievable sequence of 45 seconds listen to this crowd well, I think it's a little bit telling of our team, uh, the, the amount of sacrifice that you saw in that shift. So, you know, it was chaotic, but I also think, as you could tell from the crowd's response, um, you know, that's that's that was pretty awesome what those guys did, the way they laid it on the line. Ernie's, Ernie was hurt on the first block, and he stayed in there and blocked another one. Yeah, it's no bueno, but it has to be done. It, it just, it, there's no negotiation on it. Right, you want to win, and you got to do that. And it's the the extra, the little things. I mean, you think about back in our day <clears throat> with the grind line and Chris Draper, Kirk Maltby. I mean, I don't know how many times the balls would be coming off the ice, you know, bruised, battered because they get in front of shots. Okay, I think Kirk Maltby earned a rest. It just shows like how important you know, a W is and how much these guys, you know, want to go out there and win games, you know, by doing that, that allows them to, you know, hopefully have success. Think about this. You're blocking a 80 to 100 mile an hour shot. You can't get off the ice. You block it again. And this happens to two Red Wing players. What other sport can, can players do that where you have to remain in the play even though you're hurting, you're in pain, you're in agony, you want to get off the ice, but you still got to do it for the team. They're all in it together. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. To me, that, that's the culture. To me, that's the mindset. To me, that's, that's when you're playing for the guy next to you, no matter who it is, no matter what your salary is, no matter what your pedigree is, right? It's all you guys working together and they're finding their way, their way. In dramatic fashion, the Red Wings have won some exciting games in overtime this season. The excitement of when the Red Wings score a game-winning goal in overtime and win, I, I just love, especially when it's at Little Caesars Arena, the fans get into it. And just to see the joy on the players' faces, just unbelievable. With a forward back to Raymond, in on goal, just missed. Oh, he scores! He's done it from the same place twice! Thank and the Red Wings win it for the two! I think you're seeing the team grow before your eyes every time the Red Wings can come back from a deficit and actually come back and win a hockey game. For example, that the game in Washington where Larkin scored in overtime, you've seen a lot of young players in that game really contribute. Guys like Lucas Raymond and Mo Sider, and, and I, I just think that what you're seeing right now in front of you is their growth. Scores! Dylan Larkin from Lucas Raymond! The Red Wings come from 2 nothing down to beat the Washington Capitals. The one thing about Dylan Larkin is that he's as competitive as they come. And I think that's what really makes him uh, love the spotlight in a pressure situation. And this year we're seeing it, especially in overtime with all of his overtime goals, that, you know, when the chips are on the table, he's going to cash in. Here's Larkin. Scores! Oh, from, yes, an impossible angle, which I guess wasn't. You know, I, I see a guy who has uh, great passion and cares a ton. Uh, and that to me is, is you know, his, his best attribute. I think lots of people would say his speed. For me, it's not. It's his inner drive. It's his, it's his want to win. It's his want to be a great player. But it hasn't been just Larkin stepping up in overtime. Leaves it there for Raymond. Takes a shot, scores! Lucas Raymond! Both Lucas Raymond and Moritz Seider have come through in the clutch. They're not rookies. They don't play like rookies. You know, the fact that they can go out and score overtime goals is because there's no situation that's too big for them. That means they know that they belong. That goes with confidence. That goes with confidence from the general manager, from the owner, from, from the coach to tell you that they know how good they are. So you don't think about it. They don't, they're not out on the ice in overtime. Oh, I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie. No, they're give me that biscuit. I'm going to bury that biscuit. Corona goes off in a change. Off the bench came Cider. 
Sider shaken from his check. The shot. He scores! Sider wins it for Detroit! To score your first National Hockey League goal is always exciting, but to do it as a game winner in overtime for Mo Sider, uh, that's a goal that he'll always remember, never forget, and tell everybody that his first NHL goal was a game winner in overtime. Mo Sider with his first National Hockey League goal! Four more points from Detroit rookies, giving them 25 on the season for those two that lead the NHL. Congratulations, Mo Sider, goal number one of many more to come, and it's a game winner. Game winner. Well, every year you get, a, you get an opportunity to kind of, as I've talked about, write your own story, and this group has that opportunity. I think the Red Wings are improved this year, I really do, and I think they're playing a lot better than what a lot of people think. You know, they're giving themselves a shot, and as a hockey fan, that's all you can really ask for. You know, the fans have been showing up, the atmosphere's been great. Uh, you know, we, we just get excited to be here. And, you know, we've got to keep going to make sure there's, there's louder moments, and and we're, uh, we're right there in, in the playoff spot uh, where we want to be. It's going to be a fun you know, remainder of the season here to watch how this team grows. With the rest of the season ahead, the Wings look to continue to grow and build upon an exciting start to the season. And Detroit is here for it. It's hashtag wiser plan, so it's all about progress. What I want is I want last week of the season that we have a chance to make the playoffs. That's what I want.